Okay, this is wow. We're keeping our eye out for. I'm pretty sure it's a two-way alley. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and ask. It ain't for the faint of heart, folks. Here, and just look at it. It's like it's just completely vandalized. How we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel. This is an announcement. There's only a few weeks left if you want to get in on the Ultra B giveaway. As of the time of me making this video right now, less than 400 people are entered to win this bike. The odds are very good. This is my Ultra B that I barely rode. As you can see, it has 45 kilometers on the odometer. It's basically new. I'm sure you all know by now, but if you want to enter to win this bike, anyone in the lower 48 states, hicksfam.com, automatically entered with any purchase. Every dollar spent is one entry. You can enter up to 500 times. Time is running out. I just want everyone to be a part of this. Don't wait to the last second and then miss out or somehow miss your chance to get this amazing bike. The best Emoto on the market and one of the hardest ones to find. So with that said, you know what to do, hicksfam.com. If you want a shot at winning this bad boy, this incredible Saran Ultra B. Anyways, on to the video. All right, folks, little bunny out to get started. We are getting after it today. It is Tuesday, February 27th. Ah, God, those vines are slapping me right in the face. Uh, very special February we got this year. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, I'm assuming it's when this video comes out. But if you see it in the future, we are currently in a leap year. That means we're going to have a February 29th this year. Very cool, right? Uh, I'm getting things started very late today. I'm so far behind schedule. My apologies. It is what it is. We're out here though. Better late than never, like I always say. And we're in the middle of two rain events. We had heavy rain last night, which kind of came out of nowhere. I was not expecting to see any rain, uh, but we got quite a bit. This guy's going to run all of us over, me and this guy and his dog. Unlucky. All right, we got more rain coming up this weekend. It's Tuesday. We got rain It's Friday and Saturday, supposedly. So... Even though I had a ton of stuff to do today, we're out here, we're filming, we're riding. We got a dog hanging out the window. How you doing? <laughs> well, she looked like she was having a great day. Let's try and match her energy. Uh, it is a beautiful sunset. Even out here in LA, as you can see, the sun is set pretty much already. What time is it? Yeah, sunsets in 15 minutes. Officially, uh, by my watch, it's already gone. But you know, we're gonna try and make the most of it while we can. Real quick, we're just gonna spin around the block, see what's going on out here in the neighborhood. The first thing I gotta do is put my phone away because I feel it bouncing around in my pocket and I don't wanna lose it today. That would uh, make today especially not good. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away before we really get active. Now, one thing I have been kind of weary about is there's been so much more pickpocketing going on in LA lately. I don't know if it's a, a recent phenomenon or what, or maybe I'm just paying more attention to it, but I feel like I'm seeing a lot more stories about people getting pickpocketed out here in the city. So uh, I, try to, I try to keep my phone in my pocket, in my front pocket that is most of the time uh, to avoid that. Got a lot of cross traffic. We got a cute dog and we got a cycle on an e-bike. Let's go ahead and let this cat pass. That's right, go ahead. I'm gonna take the point. Dude, I cannot trust anybody I ever see on one of those city bikes, the metro bikes. There's very few times, for me personally, I'm like, anybody I know that's a cyclist in LA has never rented a city bike, right? Like a metro bike, one of those that the guy's on. So when I see somebody on those, I immediately assume, and this may not be a good thing, you know what happens, you know what they say when they say you make an assumption. Just uh, when I see someone on those, I just don't think they know how to ride. Anyways, we're getting our quick tour of uh, Westlake started. We got some real aggressive tagging right here. So the whole reason we're out here today, we, uh, we're actually about to go down this alley right now. Excuse me. Uh, that was kind of uh, was kind of weird, you know, he was looking at me like, what is this guy doing first off? And I was looking at him like, oh, well, he's about to think I'm crazy because I'm going to go down the same alley as him. Uh, a lot of aggressive tagging out here in this particular alley, which uh, we came down last time. This is the one with the barbed wire. We go straight into that next uh, little cut. We've been through here before, so nothing uh, out of the ordinary, but I went through a couple of streets in Westlake the other day and I was just like, wow, <laughs> this place is changing dramatically like uh, just about everywhere else in LA it's constantly got new taggings all over the place which is just uh anyways coming up this sidewalk looks like they got it cleaned up a little bit here's the same bed we saw it looks like they stripped the mattress now it's just down to the springs uh so fun fact I drove through poop in a parking lot today so I'm not really I'm kind of I'm a little more aware of the things I'm riding through today on my Suron uh how do you drive through poop you may ask yeah that's just that's the same question I asked someone Someone pooped in a parking lot and put it in a bag and then threw it on the ground. And then somebody else drove over it 
And luckily I saw it when I parked. I was going to 7-Eleven to buy some pretzels. Lately I've been hooked on eating pretzels. And uh, yeah, so I was like, wait a second, is that, is that what I think it is? And uh, yeah, it was. It, it totally was. Anyways, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a couple of little tales for uh, on the personal side of things today. We're gonna go ahead and start shredding. We got a lot of ground to cover today. And uh, it's already dark. So I mean, we're not really chasing the sunlight like we usually do. We're gonna hit this right on Bonnie Bray and uh, then head over to third. And of course we're gonna see third street builds this guy has an instagram all these cars are his so famously at this point i got roasted for calling a thunderbird and impala so i still even need to think about it look thunderbird right there right if it's not go ahead and roast me again i don't care i called a thunderbird and impala and everybody hates me for it so i'm trying to i'm reducing the amount of car spotting i'm doing in the near future i'm gonna go ahead and just uh I'm just gonna point out the cars and be like, wow, cool car, and not even try and name what it is. So I, you guys can't, you can't mock me if I get it wrong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, we got a laundromat right here. Uh, that's funny how tucked away that is. I never even noticed that. I thought there was an alley right here. I was about to hit it right and go straight. But uh, here we are down here on Third Street. This is Third Street right here. There's three main walls I wanted to check out today. This is one of them. And this one's this one is, is insane actually look at this it goes all up and down this wall right here there's one main part back in the day i used to ride past, past here with my bmx and always wonder if it would be possible for someone to grind this rail you'd have to be super skilled because first off you'd have to have someone open the door it's a very tall rail and then when you come off you have this pole pretty much directly in the way i feel like someone could probably get around it but uh anyways the top of the stand right here just it's just crazy how much tagging there is right here this is just this is one in many streets we're gonna be checking out today there's that side of the wall and then you come around here and just look at it it's like it's just completely vandalized top to bottom who owns this property i mean who knows i don't know some of these big apartment blocks i feel like the owner like who even who even knows who owns half of these things you know right like who <laughs> How long ago have they been purchased? They probably had the same owner for like decades. So it's hard to even say, you know, if anyone even cares if they're tagged up like that. That's, a, that's kind of the point I'm getting at. I don't think anyone cares. Every time I roll past that wall right there, it is completely tagged up. Uh, we got a couple of new encampments right here. This is Union Street. So as far as we go in Westlake, you guys are about to see some of the most, uh, I would say the most dangerous streets and neighborhoods in the entire part of the city, for sure. They all come up down here on Union in this little area right here. It's just completely turned up. You know, this is a place, I don't know where you'd rather not be after dark, if it'd be here or like in the depths of Compton. I, it's really a toss up because it's, it's equally dangerous. I feel like if you're from here, you kind of know where to avoid and what uh, parts of the streets to kind of get around to not get involved in drama, but you know, it's anybody's call. I will, I will say this though, these walls are much cleaner than they have been previously. I mean, almost all the graffiti's gone, which is really nice. That's good. You see this wall is freshly painted. That was graffitied up. All this kind of area is, except for this wall right here. They didn't, uh, not so lucky right here. I mean, I don't know, what does this look like to you guys? It just, to me, it just looks like it scribbles. <laughs> I can't really, it's, it's just completely illegible. I can't even tell what they're, what is trying to be represented here. Um, going as slow as we can on these alleys just to look at the details there's you know just a little bit of random trash a lot of uh you know different taggings here and there but the main thing there's nothing really in particular i wanted to see today but there are a couple things i did want to stop and point out and uh it's not on this street but we are going to keep on creeping down here's that kobe anywho well, here's even more big tagging right here look they just took the whole wall up they're just saying hey don't even <laughs> don't even come around this side if you're not from here don't come here that's kind of the, the message i get from that oh we got jeans for sale jeans on deck oh, okay well if you need some new pants come on over to uh sixth street and burlington so this is sixth street uh, i've been through here many 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 times on pretty much anything you can name on two wheels mountain bike bmx bike this bike uh everything it's like an outdoor storefront they got uh just about you know it's all types of stuff for sale bro to be honest anything you can think of 
they kind of got it for sale right here and it's a very crowded day this looks like an undercover right here or maybe somebody just bought a, a charger that's unmarked that had no plates on it at all no front or rear plates that's a little sus but anyways we're gonna hit this left on union and uh continue checking out some of these insanely turned up areas out here we gotta pop up in the curve because there's so much traffic right now a bit of tagging right here these walls are so tagged up man it's kind of wild that they just let this slide out here looks like there's some type of ems response up ahead too we're gonna check that out but i'm trying to show you guys some of these walls while i can but they have a little outdoor garden right here too that's actually very nice trying best to avoid it but then right next to it bam big tagging on the ground and everything You notice, I mean, look at the ground, dude. <laughs> Keen eyes will see more than meets the eye on the camera out here. If you're watching more than uh, I'm saying, you'll see more things than I mention, if that makes any sense. You know, and I always got to keep it moving out here. So there's two Union places. There's two Union streets out here. There's Union Place and Union Drive. This is Union, or sorry, Union Ave. Union Ave and Union Place or Union Drive. I don't know. There's a bunch of unions. This is just one of them. We're about to turn around and hit another one, though. Pretty turned up right there. Another big tagging right here. As you can see, it's uh, this is not. A, I mean, it's. I wouldn't say it's ironic. It was a little crazy though, because we are in like I would say, like this is a desirable part of town. You know, look, downtown LA is in the background over there. So this street right here is historically, I'd say, the most insane of the entire city. Like this is the one where. You know, stuff goes down. You don't want to come up and down here after dark. You never really want to come down here at all. But uh, specifically, there's certain times and parts of the day where you just don't want to be around here, man. It's, it, gets, it gets insane. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slowly creep around through here, see what's going on. You know, actually, I'm going to pop off the curve right up here. Uh, yeah. Look at what's going on over here. Just no tagging here is artistic i'll put it that way there's just no uh artistic tagging it's all uh it's all very aggressive and uh to make a statement or to send a message is a better way of putting it <laughs> yeah it's it's nothing it, none of it is uh is graffiti artwork we'll put it that way i mean look at this you don't even see a tagging like this like down in south central honestly it's it is very very hectic out here man it's i think uh you know i fail to really show off how active this part of town is look at this wall right here this is actually insane look at this i'm just free riding don't mind me yeah i'm just free riding and sightseeing you know these are parts of town where you can't really double back too much on where you go once if you hit a street once that's it. He better be ready to not go back up it again. Nice jumps on a Suron. I think of those cats, it probably just looked like I was coming up and couldn't get through, so I just decided to turn around. <laughs> Hopefully that's the... Uh... Anyway, it's crazy, right? Like, what? look, we are literally in downtown, basically. <laughs> we are right here on the border. Look at this huge pile of trash. Damn! There's no F's given, man. Straight up. I am starting to wonder, like, how do these piles of trash start developing out here in the city, man? You gotta, you gotta stop and think, like, it, it takes time for a pile of trash to get to this point, right? People just start tossing stuff, and then no one comes and cleans it up. The city doesn't care. We got an undercover right here. We got an undercover chilling in the cut. Straight up chilling in the cut. Doesn't care about anything. As a matter of fact, he probably pulled me over <laughs> before he does anything else. <laughs> He'd probably be like, what is this guy up to? He looks suspicious. And you know what? I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm probably the most suspicious one out of everybody here. I'm out here being a fool, man. And that's what I do on a daily. All right, so uh, there's a quick tour of uh, that side of town. It's uh, Those are streets that I, you know, you guys know I love coming to Westlake, but I don't ever go see them, some, of those, uh, some of those routes on Union, you know? Mainly because I just haven't ever thought about it. The other day I was driving through here and I was like, oh, you know, maybe I should show some of these in my next video. Because, uh, you know, 
it's uh, some areas that I don't ever really go to, so I figured you guys might be interested. A lot of people that live out here may think that uh, the gangs are all centered like in Compton, like just right there, like or, or just like in uh, the the typical South Central area, which is like around the 110 freeway or around like Vernon. But there's really, I try to explain on these videos, there's gangs everywhere in LA nowadays. They really have just uh, they spread out to to cover all the ground they possibly can. And then we have this right here. This looks like Skid Row, honestly. Looks like Skid Row out here uh, on the border of. Wilshire, that artwork is creepy. Let's take a look at that again. That artwork is kind of crazy looking. It's almost like one of those have you seen this man type of artworks. Anyways, well, we're out here, so we're going to go ahead and let's hit this alley, huh? Oh, dude, look at this. This looks crazy. This alley is almost never open. We are going to check it out today, though. It's one of the rare times we will be able to come through here. I'm pretty sure it's a two-way alley. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and ask. Hey, does this go through? Yeah. Oh, it has an open on the other side? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go on through. We got the pass, man. Hey, dude, we asked, we got permission, and oh yeah, it does. Okay, this is, wow. We're keeping our eye out for dogs, but. Hey, shout out to that guy, man, he's really nice. You let me know what was going on. Very dirty alley though, a little bit of standing water. Big graffiti right there. But uh, now we know what that one's about. There is another one right across from here too. Oh look, he's got electric bikes. Sondor. Sondors? That thing actually looks kind of sick. Dude, look at this alley from this direction too. It's just, it has such a, a like a filmic aesthetic. You just like, ah, uh, man. I don't know. One of the reasons that I enjoy doing the things that I do is that I enjoy being in these places where, you know, it's just there's a certain grime to the city. There's graffiti on the walls, there's trash everywhere, there's barbed wire, there's an element of danger to doing the stuff that I do. So it is a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I think a lot of you guys understand that too. I wouldn't be doing this almost every day if I didn't really enjoy it. And it's also one of the few things that brings me any type of uh, joy or excitement in life anymore. It's just, uh, is getting out and riding my fur on in places that I shouldn't be. I'm doing this right here, just humming full speed through uh, disgusting, dirty alleys. <laughs> That's also a lot of fun, too. Do I suggest any of you guys try it? Nah, you should just watch me do it. <laughs> try every trust, big trust, at least not in the places I do it. If you want to give it a shot in your own neighborhood, hey, fine by me, but there's a reason that uh, most people don't want to come ride the places I do. It ain't for the faint of heart, folks. All right. I just had to get that out of my system. I needed to turn it through a couple hours real quick and pin the throttle for a hot second. So, oh man. Jeez, man, what a, what a, what a ride so far. <laughs> it's rare we got anything going on after dark, but here we are. How you doing? She's not looking happy to see me. <laughs> hey man. So one thing that is going on right now is I don't have my shades on. <laughs> I don't like when people can see my eyes. I like to be completely anonymous. And right now, it is too dark to wear shades. And my goggles, well, they're in my backpack, but we're out here with our eyeballs exposed. Hopefully we don't run through any, um, you know, <laughs> strange substances on the ground. All right, well, we're gonna curb cut it for a second on the dead silence e-bike known as a Suron. Let's see what leads us to where we go next. So look at all this overgrown turf out here. This is actually good. This is from all the rain we've been getting. Stuff's actually growing for once. We're getting some, uh, some greenery. Look at that. We're actually getting some grass. Very nice, right? <laughs> Very cool. Look at this Miata. Who owns this? I know someone knows the guy who owns this. This thing's clean. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love how it's street parked out here too. That's <laughs> funny. Oh man, we just rode through so much mud. It's actually spit it up in my face for a hot second. All right. Here we have a famous street. I once came up here and rode right through here and asked if they have inner tubes for sale. They did not. 
I had a flat tire that day. That was many years ago. Some of y'all probably were not watching me at that time. It's okay. It's okay. We go on. As long as you're watching me today, everything's good. Oh, the sandwich. Free sandwich, bro. Multiple sandwiches. No. Dude, free sandwiches. Perfectly formed sandwiches, too. Spread across the ground. Why is that? I don't know. Anyways, we're on Beacon and uh, I don't know what street this is, but there's a bunch of new trash here. This is another new trash pile in LA. Got a nice office chair. Last time I came through here was with uh, LAOC TV. He's a good cat. He's uh, been taking some time off, but uh, you guys know his live stream. We came through here one night and none of that trash was there, so that's all new. Did we just come through this alley? I don't even remember. I think we're going to take it back the other way, though. I don't know. I don't know. How you doing? Hey. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cross on this street. This part of town is so small. It always feels bigger than it is, but it's it's so compact. I can get from where I started today's video, from where I'm at right now, in probably like five minutes. Less than five minutes, actually. Oh, that's a cat. Dude, I thought that was a dog. <laughs> okay, well. Let's slow it down a little bit. Got a little bit of graffiti everywhere. Just, you know, nonsense. Trash. Dirt. Mud. Thick mud. Good thing I didn't ride through there. That would have ruined my day a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see. I, it's a little dark. It's definitely darker than I like to be filming at, but a lot of you guys ask for after dark footage. I mean, this is... It's after dark. The sun is down, right? I mean, hey, how dark do you want it, right? Do you want pitch black? You couldn't see anything in the first place, even if it was. So what's the point of that, right? We're going to go ahead and cut this left right here. Um, I don't even know what street this is. We're on 8th. This is 8th. Um, and right here, that says, I love peaches. Cool. Hey, man. Thieves are own. I'm not too crazy about peaches. I'm more of a, uh, you know, honey crisp apple type of guy. But... Everybody likes their own favorite fruit, right? Look how wide this street is. It's huge. It's actually uh, very nice. Seventh and Union. This is where that art used to be of uh, the juggernaut, which I called something else. I just have this habit of calling things things they're not. I don't know. I just am, I'm not, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I just don't know what things are named. Most of the time, if I try to name something, I will get it wrong. That's just, uh, you know, that's just a fact of life at this point. Is what it is. She's walking in the street. Oh, she's looking for the bus. Yeah. That used to be a habit we had back in the day. We'd walk all the way out into the middle of the street to look for the bus. See when it was coming. Because you could not wait for that bus to come. Back when I was taking the uh, the bus over in Northside Long Beach. The 51, the 50. Okay. Talk about, talk about a hot lap. Absolutely getting after it right now. We're going back into the fray of traffic. We may shoot back up Union, the street that I said uh, is not for the faint of heart. I think we're going to take it back. You know, I kind of just show what's going on out here in the city, but at the same time, I feel like there's not, there shouldn't be restrictions upon where you can go, right? Okay, so this is a prime example. We're down there, I don't know if I could punch in if you'd even see it, it says Union Ave. Oh yeah, right here, Union Ave. And then right here, right there, we have Union Drive. So it's two different streets. It's the same vibe but uh, different actual streets out here in the city. Uh, and then right up here, on the corner, right past Union Drive, is the infamous, the world famous, LAPD Rampart District. Uh, famous for multiple things. If you want to uh, have a good night of reading, Google LAPD Crash, C-R-A-S-H unit. Multiple pieces of media were made about that. A TV show, I think it was called Shield. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Officer Tenpenny was based off of a real life officer from that. Oh yeah, they're still keen to me. They're giving me the looks. We're gonna go ahead and keep it moving. Dude, this, this clock is just very hot, man. It's just hot out here. That's the only way you can put it. And the funny part is the police department is one block over it's literally the next block over i don't know but we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving we're gonna make this left right here on fourth well he's got the whole fam on a scooter <laughs> oh man hey more power to you man get the whole fam home in one piece 
All right, well, well, it's a quick after dark tour. That's the best I can do, man. There ain't much light left. Just trying to do what I can. Whoa, he was spinning a baseball bat, bro. That could have been nasty. If I spooked him, he could have turned around and cracked me. I think I got my full face on. Hopefully, he would have cracked the full face. Oh, he's staring at me. I don't think he liked that one bit. There's a homie on a motorcycle, too. Anyways, life out here in this part of town, folks. Right close to downtown, but it ain't it ain't nothing nice over here. All right, folks, quick after dark video. Just trying to fill out a nice February for y'all. Thanks for all the support this month in the month of February. Remember HicksFan.com, if you want a shot at winning the Ultra Beaver, every dollar spent gives you one entry. Only a few weeks left. If you want to get in there, don't miss out. You might win all the lower 48 states. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace out.